Hello, good evening. Um, today I will be showing you how you can be able to install the Autodesk Revit by yourself. Go to where you have the application installed, downloaded, double click on it, and then narrow down to any of the folders in your computer where you want to save uh, the file, the installation file. Then click, you can actually create a new folder and deploy all the extractions to that direction. Give it a name that you prefer and click OK when you're done. It will go and extract all the files in that direction, just like you have seen, click OK. Now the extraction will run through as you're seeing and all of them will go and extract at the designation, that folder where you have just created. As soon as the extraction uh, is complete, um, you just have to go to that folder, navigate to the folder when your computer, open up the folder, you should be able to find it uh, where you have, have it saved up. Um, open inside and you can be able to see all the extracted files that are inside the folder, right? So, uh, okay, the extraction is still running through. Let's give it some time. And all of them are coming to this destination where we have already designated for them to be extracted. As soon as the extraction runs through, we we'll open the file and the installation process should start automatically. Like it's about to start now, it will start it will deploy automatically. Then you just try to follow the prompts. And the prompt is actually quite simple. It's trying to extract all of them, unpacking all the files for the installations. That's what it's trying to do here. As soon as you finish now, it will start running the installation wizard. So you follow the prompts that will be presented to you in the installation wizard to install the application. Now, I must have to inform you also that the, the application you're trying to install can actually last a very long time depending on your computer uh, capacity. To some, it can actually take almost an hour or thereabouts before it's fully installed. And I understand why some people were complaining that their own was staying long at 90 something percent before it eventually installs. That is the nature of the application. It has to install a lot of components and elements that the application uses to work. So click Next, and these are the possible directories where the application will be installed. If you want to change and install in a different location, you can actually do that from here. Then click uh, Continue and Install, and the installation process will run through. Give it some time, um, it will run through basically between uh, 30 minutes to maybe an hour and thereabouts, the installation should be able to be true. And then you can go ahead with the process of activation. But before you start running the installations, I imagine that you must have secured your trial license. Either you're using the 30 days trial license, which you can get through the business route or the one-year trial license, which you can also secure using your student uh, access. So whichever one that you have already secured, you should have uh, received an email, confirmatory email in your in your inbox, telling you that you have uh, you have been uh, approved to have something uh, a trial version of the application. So once that is done, the rest is, can always come here as soon as the installation completes. Now. We follow through with the process of activating it using that license that you have been given. So it's not a process that is actually uh, confusing, like some people have been making it to sound. It's quite simple and straightforward. So all it requires for you to just um, follow through according to this uh, video. Okay, the installation is almost complete at 76%. Actually, uh, between 76% and 97%, that is the longest period that the, the application can stall. If you look at it, you might think that nothing is happening. But then after this, after these stages, it will run through. The next place is that it will stay a longer time for when it gets to 97%. 
and because it's installing some other uh, components that they have that are required, some other elements that the application uses to, to work with. That's why um, we recommend, or the application manufacturers recommend that there are some basic uh, uh, expectations that are required for any uh, computer that wants to install this 2023 Revit because of some of these components that is installing. But the installation process is faster because this is a recorded uh, video. So we are cutting off some of that, the time uh, in, so that I don't have to bore you with all those things. But just bear in mind that when it gets between 96% or thereabouts, it takes a more lot of time before it runs through completely and installs. Now it's at night 7% now. A lot of other components will start installing. You see them pop up at any point in time. Um, some of them will be installing according to Microsoft installers and the rest of them. They'll just be installing at the background. But you see the notification. Now, if you are in a hurry to start using the application, you can actually click start and start using the application while the other installation process is also continues on the background. Now, these are the installations I was talking about. They will just take some seconds, pop up and disappear, and then pop up again and disappear and pop up again a couple of times and then disappear. But each time they come up, they're actually installing a vital component of the application or the other. So just be patient with them and allow them to, to run through. At no time should you, you know, think of canceling the installation. Because if you cancel at this very point, or if your computer power is interrupted at this point, the application will be corrupted, and it, this version of Revit cannot be installed again in your computer because it would have corrupted the registry record of the Revit application. So, um, so the installation is not complete, 100%. Automatically, if it doesn't start, automatically you click the start button and then it will bring you to this home page that you have here. Now, this is where the activation process now continues. Before now, there was an email that you use to uh, get the license. But it is required that at this stage, when you want to start activation, make sure that you have your internet on. If your internet is not on, you get this kind of window, one that says that there is no... Uh, you have to require you to use either a license key or use a network license, serial number or network license. That's why you need to enable your data or on your internet, then run the opening again so that the application will bring you into, click the trial, so that the application will bring you into, into the activation window where it's supposed to activate using your, that email that here, you ask you to ask sign in use your account and sign into your account that email address that you use to log into autodesk application where they gave you the trial license that is what you have to use to sign in here and you see it's very soon i need to pop up that window and i'll assign my email address i put in my email address click the next and then put in my password put in password and click uh, sign in the moment you sign in the application will now congratulate you and launch through. And that is actually the whole essence. Each application that I install, any other Autodesk application that I install, because I have secured a trial license for this, that one will automatically sense this license and will also be activated, running on the same student uh, license that I have on my, on my accounts. So this is how simple it is to run uh, the trial version of the student license. But mind you, this license expires after one year. If you look at the email that was sent to you, they would have informed you that this trial license will expire at so, so time, precisely a year plus the time when you secure the license. So this is how you can be able to install it. The rest is just to follow the prompt to, you know, customize the information that will be given to you, that they will be how they will respond in sending information to you, including catching, collecting some of your data for evaluation purposes, not necessarily any other thing. So this is how you can secure the license of the application. It is fully functional. The only difference is that you cannot be using it for, for profit making. Any product you're using it, anything job you're using it to do now will always be a, the Autodesk educational license watermark on it. I'll just keep this, uh, just keep this 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 
this one and go ahead to open a sample project that is that came alongside with the application. Just click it. Give it some seconds to open. And then when you open, you look on the upper side, upper right side of your of your window screen. You should be able to see that your email address, which you use in signing in, has been assigned in there, giving you your name. And you click on that it now. You see able to see the kind of license manager. See the license that I'm having. If I click the arrow, it will open up to show me that this is my license and this is the time it will expire that I have here. This is how long it will stay. And then this is telling me that the license behavior is extendable license. So this is how you can know that your license is activated and your application can now run freely until the time that was given to you for the license to expire. I hope this helps you. Thank you.